Saturday, October 29th, 2016, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. Uh, Bitcoin, uh, this morning, already trading above $700, uh, trading around 702, 704 right now. So up 2.5% in the last 24 hours. Uh, I'm going to cover also gold and silver. I'm going to look at the technical picture for gold and silver and Bitcoin. I know a lot of the viewers don't believe in technical analysis. They think it doesn't work uh, because the markets are rigged. But I'd like to say the markets cannot be rigged forever. Uh, the market will take over the manipulators eventually. And of course, technical analysis doesn't always work. But I also come with the fundamental view. Uh, I also give my fundamental analysis. So I think it's just fair to give both views because there are some viewers who enjoy the technical analysis uh, and the fundamental, and there's some that enjoy just the fundamental, uh, some that just enjoy, enjoy the technical. So let's start out with Bitcoin. Actually, this chart, I drew it up uh, yesterday. It's a weekly chart. So you can see Bitcoin was still uh, around 688. Uh, we hadn't <laughs> traded uh, above 700. And of course, the trend there looks unmistakably uh, bullish. Uh, the chart is moving from the lower left side of the, the page to the upper right hand side. That's bullish. We're seeing higher highs and... Uh, higher lows so uh, you know i would expect uh bitcoin to test the all-time high there around 780 783 or thereabouts that came earlier this year in june you can see i've drawn like a channel through uh, this uh, chart and uh oddly enough you know the uh, 700 area is just around the the upper a part of the channel so I think if we get above 710 720 we could see a very quick move up towards uh, the all-time high not all-time highs but this year's highs of around 780 785 and 800 could be in the cards fairly quickly uh, in the next week or so so that's a Bitcoin I'll show you uh, another Bitcoin chart here more live chart uh, just a screenshot of the uh, what it's doing this morning as you can see there we've moved up quite nicely there above 700 704 thereabouts at the moment uh, it's a uh, 10 20 a.m london time so 7 20 sorry 5 20 a.m eastern standard time or new york time so now moving on to uh, gold and silver First of all, I'm just going to look here at uh, what we've done in the week through the LBMA uh, fixes, PM fix for gold and, uh, and the fix for silver. There's only one fix for silver. Just to see and bear in mind that the uh, PM fix for gold and the fix for silver on yesterday on Friday was prior to the news, uh, FBI news about the Clinton investigation. So the market hadn't really moved up. Uh, like it did uh, after the, the news we got up to like 1285 uh, in gold and we got up to 1793 in silver so for the week uh, the pm fix in gold was 1273 and uh, the previous week on the 21st of october uh, the pm fix was 1266.05 so gold was actually up just over half a percent on the week so 0.55%. Silver, on the other hand, on October 21st, uh, the fix was 1751. And we had a fix yesterday of 1761, up 10 cents on the week. So that's also 0.57%. So both basically up half a percent for the week. So not a bad uh, week for gold and silver in, ter in terms of uh, percentage-wise frustrating sometimes to see how it trades but let's have a look here at the uh the technical and i'll start with the weekly gold chart and this does include uh the action last uh yesterday afternoon for the us in the evening for london when gold actually traded up above 
1280 after the FBI news. So here's the chart. You can see here there's always that long-term trend line uh, from the high in 2011 and the high in 2012. So that trend line is actually moving lower with time. And uh, if we get back above 1300 uh, now, we will be above that trend line. So that's quite interesting. The other thing uh, you can notice there is that I, I've written bear flag or bottom. Basically a bear flag is when you have a sharp move down like you had in the beginning of October there from 1320 down to like almost 1240. And then you have a consolidation uh, period of a, a few weeks or and that and, and it forms like a little flag and then it continues and then you see another sharp move lower just like you saw uh, you know in the beginning of October uh, that's you know the concern I've had for the last couple of weeks that that is a bear flag but as you can see now uh, yesterday's move is starting to uh, make it look like it might be a bottom. It's not certain yet. You know, we could come in on Monday and gold could be down 20 bucks. You never know. <laughs> but from the political uh, news we've had and the uncertainty, if gold is trading towards 1300 come uh, Monday and next week, then we could say that this was a bottom in the beginning of October. If we're still stuck in the 12, you know, 60 to 1270 range, then, you know, I, I'd be a bit more uncertain. So that's how I see the uh, gold technical for now. Of course, longer term, uh, I think gold is a, a great way to save uh, your wealth. It's a uh, a bet against central bank policy. It's a bet against the banks. It's a, a protection against counterparty risk. Gold uh, never goes bankrupt. Gold never does false accounting. Gold is always gold. An ounce of gold will always be an ounce of gold. Of course, you have to be careful with with you know scammers who try to sell you fake gold and stuff like that. Notwithstanding that, gold is incorruptible so longer term of course uh, gold for me uh, beats any other uh, kind of money or currency uh, with the exception of silver of course and Bitcoin now I think uh, you know doesn't have the track record for 5,000 year track record Bitcoin but it's starting to build a reputation so that's the the gold situation uh, now the weekly silver chart so silver, the same kind of uh, situation as gold. Uh, we had the big move down in the beginning of October. Are we forming a bear flag or is it a bottom? And the other, the difference with silver here is that there's a trend line that has held since the beginning of the year. So that's encouraging as well. But the verdict's still out. You know, next week, we ideally we need to get back above 18 and uh, move towards 19. If we stay s stuck between the 17, you know, 50 and 1770 area, um, then not so sure. Uh, so again, longer term, positive in silver. I think that like gold, it's a great way to uh, save your wealth, to, you know, keep stacking. I'm not saying, you know, uh, I'm just giving the technical, short-term technical picture here. So, uh, yeah, that's it for now. Let's see where uh, Bitcoin is at the moment. Uh, Bitcoin market, $703 now, uh, Bitcoin. So doing quite well this morning. Gold and silver, of course, do not trade on the weekend. So if you enjoy my videos, please uh, like, share them, and subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't yet. If you'd like to donate to, to my channel, if you think I add value, uh, there's some links below in the description. I accept Bitcoin. I accept BitGold. I still accept uh, fiat money through PayPal and Patreon. So take care, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.